Do you have wet filament? Well, do you? Even if you don't stick around, because I'm going to tell you exactly why you need a filament dryer. This episode, or this show, this content, this video is generously sponsored by Fix Dry. They let us go shop on their website. They let us go pick out a two-spool filament dryer and a couple of spools of tricolor filament, which is kind of cool because I've never used tricolor filament before. I got it here. We've printed with the, well, my son has printed with the tricolor filament several times, and it's turned out fantastic. And I've printed only with it a, a, a few times. And so I'll show that to you as well as with the filament dryer. Stick with me to the end because I have a 10% off discount code and I'm gonna share that with you at the end of this video. I was trying to find or think of a way, a really flashy way to show off a filament dryer, but I don't think you really can. And I, I mean, I thought about it for like, I don't know, the, the past week and I thought I could do a bit where I'm outside on the mountain in the desert and it's hot. I don't know. I, I came up with a whole bunch of weird ideas, but I couldn't really think of a really flashy, exciting way to show off a filament dryer. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go basic. We're going to take the fix dry. We're going to put it on top of the bamboo X1 carbon. I pulled the AMS off. We're going to hook it up. And we're just going to print directly from the fix dry right into the bamboo. It's going to work on the X1 carbon and it would work exactly the same on a P1P or a P1S. It'll work on any of bamboo's machines. And I thought that's the best way to do it and get some B-roll of it printing directly from the fix dry into the bamboo. And while it's doing that, I can explain to you exactly how we connected it, show you how, how that works. And also I can talk to you a little bit about why drying filament is important. Drying filament is a necessary thing. Now up here on the mountain, you can see all the filament behind me. I don't keep them in filament bags. I don't keep them in boxes. Um, I don't often dry the filaments behind me like the PLAs, the PETGs, and things like that because we have low humidity up here on this mountain. However, when I do print nylons and polycarbonates and things like that, I do have to dry those. Also, did you know that you can receive wet filament from a manufacturer? We've all had that happen. We've all received bags that have been pierced or punctured. Somehow this thing spent like six months at the bottom of the ocean, absorbed every ounce of moisture that it possibly could, and we get it and it prints terrible. A lot of people do assume that they have wet filament now when they do have printing problems, and I think that's a good thing. Um, it's not going to hurt to throw it in a dryer, but the symptoms of wet filament are usually popping and hissing. You can hear it if you put your ear, put your ear down really close. To the nozzle, you can literally hear the moisture uh, turning to steam. You can hear it boiling and steaming off, and you can hear the popping and the hissing. Now, also, you're going to find out that the external finish, the reveal of the print, uh, is going to have little uh, defects and marks. Um, you're going to get uh, under extrusion, over extrusion, you're going to get stringiness, you're going to get all sorts of problems, and that can be caused by moisture. Now, PLA, one way to check to find out if you just have a bit of moisture in it is how brittle it is with PLA. So PLA, if you grab it and you happen to wiggle it a little bit or on the spool, they just start to break off. The, the external coils just start to kind of shatter and break off. That can be a sign of moisture. I think it's good. Regardless uh, whether you do this as a hobby or whether you do this as a business, you should have in your tools, in your tool chest, your tool kit, you should have a filament dryer or two. Um, if you have a lot of machines and you find that you're printing and going through a lot of filament, it's a fantastic idea to have more than one filament dryer. Or in this case, uh, Fix Dry sent us over a two spool uh, filament dryer, which is kind of nice. It can feed two printers at the same time. This particular Fix Dry has 10 ports, six on the top, two on the front, and two on the back. And those are pass throughs for filament. And uh, you can put PTFE tubes through. Um, or you can just feed the filament straight out. It'd be a good idea to probably use a, a little short piece of PTFE to feed through there just so that as the filament's traveling through, it's not rubbing on the rubber grommet, the little seal that's in there. I mean, it would be a good idea that it's passing through with PTFE for less friction and also that ultimately that's just going to last longer. You can print directly from the fixed dry directly into your 3D printer. As far as how much time you'd have to keep filament in a dryer, that's going to vary depending on exactly how much moisture is in the filament, um, how hygroscopic that filament is, and uh, how dry you need it. I think anywhere from four hours, two to four hours or something like that would be a good start on filament that's not waterlogged if you're going to print directly from it. As you're printing, the out, obviously as you're drying, the outside coils are going to dry first. 
two to four hours and you could probably start printing from it if it wasn't waterlogged significantly. If you do think there's a lot of moisture in it, you're going to have to go six, eight or 12 hours probably at a minimum. And for filaments like nylon and polycarbonate or heavily waterlogged filament, you're probably looking at 12 to even 24 hours of drying to make sure that uh, you get as much moisture out of that as you can to end up with better prints. This particular fixed dry has a 110 watt PTC heater, can go up to 70 C and it has moisture vents in the top, which are really critical because if you think about it last year, there was a filament dryer going around and it was relatively inexpensive. And I think it was places were giving it out for like 10 and $20 and sometimes free. It was from a very large 3D printer brand. But one thing that they missed, which blows my mind that they're developing products and that they're not testing them, which was that it didn't have vents in the top of the filament dryer. So all of this heat is being created and flowing around inside this container to dry the filament. But where does the moisture go? It doesn't go anywhere. It gets trapped in there. And people are seeing condensation building up inside of the filament dryer. And I thought, that's ridiculous. And so the ultimate uh, solution for that was you watch people with drills and dremels cutting holes in, in drilling holes in the top of this enclosure for this other brand of filament dryer to let the moisture to, to get that that humidity out that filament dryer well the fix dry has that it has like a bunch of vents in the top plus it has like i said those those 10 pass-throughs that you can leave open obviously you don't have to plug those that allow the moisture out it has uh, above the heater in the bottom it has this cool v-shaped deflector and so the heat is not directly on the bottom of the spool um, it's hitting that deflector and kind of flowing up and around with a fan uh, to keep the whole chamber at that temperature to, to get even drying of the filament the interface on the outside is really easy to use it's got a power button it has a timer option and as well it has the temperature setting and of course it has a humidity sensor that lets you know exactly what the humidity is inside the enclosure it can take two one kilogram spools or one uh, three kilogram spool I don't know if I have actually a three kilogram spool here though. I have some 2.5s, but they're from extruder and they're way too big to go in there. If the fixed dry filament dryer is something you're interested in and you want to save a few dollars, I have a 10% off discount code and it is LMSHOW6. And I'll have that on the screen and I'll have that in the description below. And I'll also have my affiliate link, which I'd appreciate it if you're going to pick up a fixed dry dryer or if you're going to pick up some of that awesome tricolor filament. Uh, if you'd use my affiliate link, uh, even if you're just going to browse, use the affiliate link and go over there and browse. It'll let them know that we sent you from us. Well, awesome. Thanks for watching. This was just a short video kind of highlighting Fix Dry, their filament dryer, and some of their tricolor filament. If you like this content, go ahead and give that a like and definitely subscribe. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Hey, wait a minute. I almost forgot to give a big thank you to our YouTube members. If you'd love to help support the show and get your name included in every single video, definitely reach right down there and select that join button and become a YouTube member of our channel. I'd sincerely appreciate it. Thank you, Jedi Spidey. Thank you, Buddha 3 d your buddy Denek, Cetral, Vredog Knight, Rip Artist, Patrick W3D, The Cinzia, Luppy Leptonium, Cam Nicholas, Wasting Time, Brandon0109, and Joel Finn. Thank you so much for your support.